You are missing out if you are not playing Trailmakers, and this is why. You could build literally whatever you want. You know that supercar you wanted in GTA 5? Well, guess what? I wanted it too. But instead of spending $20, to literally just drive it around the map. I had fun building it and also racing it against my friends. Also, if you don't have anyone to play with, join the Discord. Um, there's plenty of people in here that will uh, wanna play with you. So today I'll be showing you how to build in Trailmakers, ways to improve your vehicle designs in Trailmakers, and also a secret I really don't like telling people because it's how I make all my builds look so good. But first off, let me show you how to build. So let me click B. You can see that all right here is all of our seats. And then in this frame column here is just a bunch of blocks and even some windows. And yeah, basically propulsion and and wheels and then the whole mechanic parts are more like steering hinges and all that kind of good stuff but we're gonna go back to the seats and uh, you can grab whatever seat that you want but I'm gonna go for a go-kart seat here and you can see all of these different things up top so this is the save button so you can save it and pull it out whenever uh, you want to show it to your friends this is the delete button so of course you could delete it and then if you click Z it brings it right back so if you ever make a mistake and accidentally delete something just make sure to click Z but anyways if we click back on the seat again these are our decals you can kind of just put stickers on your builds then if we go back here you can see that we can paint it so you can paint it pink you can paint it blue I'm gonna keep mine orange but then here is the gears so you can disable air controls you could uh, disable look around I usually don't really touch these but some builds require you to uh, change the settings and right here is the copy button um, they're also all just kind of self-labeled they tell you what they do but yeah if you want a two-seater you could do something like that now if we delete that we could just go back to this final little button here and this this is the rotator so you can basically flip it and uh, do it however you want and for navigating around your build hold right click and you can see that uh, there's a little spinny thing right there for your mouse now and yeah you can kind of just spin around go on the bottom go in the back whatever you want but now that you know all these basics let's go ahead and make a simple car so if we go to the mechanic section here we go to a steering hinge you can see that red is turning left and green is turning right and then if I go on this side and then click copy it'll do the same exact thing now for both of these you can go into settings and you can change the controls so a and d is right for me it's most likely right for you too but yeah you can kind of change these to almost whatever button that you want you can change the speed and angle and steering help and strength but that's also in the advanced settings so yeah you could always just show advanced if you're doesn't show it but let's click out of settings just like that now we're gonna go over to the propulsion side now there's three different kinds of engines for a car I'm gonna go with the dragon engine and you can see here that uh, it's really not that big but it is the most powerful now if you want your car to go any faster you can always add a thruster or whatever but I'm just gonna keep it simple today and then you could also go into the settings of here and you could change these if you want them any differently but W and S is totally fine to me so let's click out of that and and then I'm gonna go to these little tubes pieces down here and I'm just going to build it out one like this and copy on this side. Now the reason why I'm doing that is so everything is nice and symmetrical. So now that we have that, let's go to the wheels section and you can pick whatever wheels that you want on this thing, but uh, just make sure that they're all going the right way. Also, uh, here's a quick little tip. If you click on this, hold control and then click on this, it highlights both of them. Or you can hold control and double click and it highlights all the wheels that you have on your build. So yeah, just a nice little uh, tip there for you. But let's bring these forward with the arrow keys. Um, basically, however you're looking at this thing if I do uh, D you can see that it goes to the right and then if I do a then it goes to the left so yeah um, make sure you're looking in the direction that you want it to go and you can use a or D or you can do uh, W and s and it goes up and down but uh, let's click B and you guys can see that uh, now we have a very very simple car now it probably doesn't really drive all that great because well, it's a very, very tiny car. And the wheels we have on here are just regular go-kart wheels. And go-kart wheels really don't work all that great on sand. But if we click and we drag, we can either save it or we can delete it. I'm going to uh, delete it because I'm not really gonna need that car. So now that you know how to build here in Trailmakers, well, you're pretty much done. But I'm assuming you don't want all your vehicles to look just like this one. You want them to look like this one. So now let me show you how to improve your vehicle's design. 
So something as simple as this airplane here is strictly for functionality. It flies and it works, I guess, but it just doesn't look all that good. So if we go back to build mode and we design a cockpit instead of just placing one down, you can see that once we add wings in the whole frame of an entire aircraft, well, it gives it a lot more character. Speaking of characters, you can't really see my guy's face in here. It's uh, kind of sticking through the ceiling. Now, this is a pretty drastic change when it comes to designing a cockpit, but I mean, even just grabbing these rounded bits like this and putting them parallel to each other and then getting a rounded bit like this and like this, and of course, putting it on both sides, then adding your seat on the inside and rounding off the front with something like this and also something like this, it really just gives your build more dimension. And the more dimension it has, the more realistic it looks. Now, for the final part of this video, I'm going to be telling you a secret. I explained a little bit about this in my other building improvement video, but I just wasn't going as in depth as where I'm going in this one. So first off, having a reference photo is great. You can get a nice side view to get the shape you want, and you could even get a bird's eye view to help you get the outline that you want. Now, having these specific views of the aircraft or car that you're trying to build will help you so much. But it's not always so easy trying to get the shape you want when, well, we're kind of limited on parts. So what I do to fix this problem is I either go on Instagram or I go on Google and I search Lego blank. Lego F22, Lego Lamborghini. Now the reason I use Lego builds as a reference is because it's easier for my brain to break down all of the dimensions and more simple parts. Like look at the side piece of the car. I know that I should use a sharp wedge to get this nice little intake. Or the hood. The hood looks just like this 4x4 slope. Even the wing on this jet, it gives me a perfect reference of what block I should be using going all the way down. So once you start messing around with similar parts that you see in game that are also in these Lego builds, I promise you, your builds will improve exponentially. Well, I hope this video gave you some more inspiration to dive deeper into Trail Makers, or maybe even start playing it. Well, don't forget to join the Discord. My name is Little Corn Dogs, and I will see you guys in the next one.